how do we rate cigars? We rate them on taste. We rate them on build, because each one is made by hand. All right, so it's how well they've built it, how compact, if it's not too tight. If they've bunched too much tobacco in there, it's very hard to draw. So there's the build, there's the draw, there's the burn, there's the taste. And then there's the combustion. And you will find from time to time that the combustion is absolutely terrible. And your cigar will smoke all down one side and not the other side. And that means you've probably had an inexperienced roller who's left a little bit of the thick part of, and that's burning quicker than the rest of it. So that's how you get to them. And on my YouTube videos, I rate them, all right? And overall, now people say, what cigar should I smoke? Well, the cigar that you should smoke is the one that you like the best taste from. And tastes change at different times of the day and with different things that you eat. This is a Ram Maloney Sidon, which is a fairly strong, robust smoke. You're not going to wake up and have one of these at breakfast unless you're feeling like it's a Herculean day and you've got something big on. This is something you're going to have after food or after coffee or with a drink. Now, this is an enjoyment, all right? There aren't many passionate things that you could enjoy, all right? So what do you want to have with a cigar? What goes well with a cigar? Coffee goes well with a cigar. Brandy goes unbelievably with a cigar. When I first started smoking and drinking brandy together, right, I used to just dip the end once, only once, just before I lit up. And then you'd get taste from, from, from the off. And that was good. Since then, I've actually got to a stage where I wouldn't want to waste the brandy, right? Because I've developed a brandy with a famous brandy house in, in Cognac called Croise, who were the original family um, sommeliers to Napoleon. And what they have done is they've created this brandy for me that is rich in taste, right? But with no, none of that afterbite and kick that you get that bad taste. And it's got us on a, on a thread of doing things. A lot of people I know love vodka with, with cigars, which wasn't something that I bought into. Anyway, we sourced from Belarus a bison grass vodka, which we're doing my silhouette etched into the glass on, so please, I, it's just one of, I've got a crazy partner called David Factor on the, on the, the side. He thought I'd look good on the silhouette of the brandy because I'm nice and plump and with a scar in my mouth, I'd look like someone from Alfred Hitchcock era. And he thought that the ugly thing that you get on a Lilith bottle would be great for the brandy with my picture on it. So he's, he's trying to demonize me into being a famous ugly person. And we're even going to the extent that we're, we're, we're trialing a pale ale because beer is quite good with a cigar, lager not so much, but a nice traditional English ale is very nice with a cigar. We've looked at whiskies, we're still looking at whiskies. We can't find a whiskey that beats, in my opinion, things like a 25 year old McCannon. And there's no point in creating something if it is not gonna be something that you'd love to put your name to. So let's talk about the cigar. Let's talk about how beginners get into it. Number one, this isn't an activity that you do for anything else than enjoyment. So you've got to like the idea of smoking. You've got to like the idea of relaxing because this is not something you can do in a hurry. A cigar needs time, it needs patience, but it also needs relaxation. Cigar smoked relaxed is an incredible enjoyment. A cigar smoked rushed is a terrible waste of an opportunity. And life's not a dress rehearsal. We're here for a certain short period of time on this earth. And we've got to enjoy the time that we're here.